Hi everybody, I'm Tony Reeves and I'm coming to you today with the Chief Elite Sling Boat. This is a little question and answer video that hopefully will answer the most popular questions that we get and help you to become an elite shooter quickly. First of all, the, the number one question is which sling bow is right for me? Well, we have three models. The basic model is the Chief Lee. It comes down with a fold down arrow rest and a ball and arrow pouch. As you can see, this pouch has a miniature bow string and a D loop and the fold down arrow rest, which folds down pops back up like that. This is designed to shoot balls and arrows. Right here, you can knock the arrow, draw and shoot. If you want to shoot balls, fold that down, you can shoot balls. The next model is the North American Big Game. <clears throat> this one comes with the Whisker Biscuit arrow rest. And it also has a different attachment here called the arrow only rig. With this, you can only shoot arrows. It has a, a miniature D loop on it. Well, you can use archers release to draw. This unit right here is for the sportsman that's on the move. Like if you're on horseback, four wheelers, uh, snowmobiles, or if you're gonna bow fish, this is the unit to have. We've got a fishing rig that attaches right to the handle. Then we have the Tony's Elite, which comes with the fold down IRS and the arrow only rig. And I personally shoot with the stabilizer, which I'll explain that to you a little later. That's the three models we have. We have many attachments for them. But this unit, as you can see, is seven inches tall, four inches wide, and will fold up to an inch and a half. Weighs one pound. Very easy and convenient to take into the woods. It's great to throw in your backpack when you're hiking, or it's great for the bug out bag. What I like about the sling bow is it's so light and compact. In the woods in a tree stand, you can move around like this with ease. You don't have the limbs of a compound, long bow, or recurve that you got to worry about hitting the limb or hitting the stand, which I love all archery products, but I just particularly like this one the best because of the size, the way it handles. Uh, next question people asked is, Will it kill a big game animal? The question is yes. With 40 pound power bands, this little unit right here will shoot 160 feet plus per second. With 50 pound power bands, 180 feet plus per second, depending on the arrow you use. It's got enough kinetic energy to kill any animal in North America. The next question is, what arrow should I use? Well, it'll shoot all arrows and it'll shoot them all real good. But for the best arrow flight, flight we found that the Victory 500 Sport arrow flies better and outperforms them all. We equipped all of our arrows with five inch feathers, as you can see, and they are all quite flexed. Reason being is for stability. And then too, when you when you knock your arrow and you go to draw it back, it's all in a V shape and as you can see, it doesn't touch the feathers. So it doesn't interfere with any, any arrow flight or any noise. As you know, this is totally instinctive, just like the long bow or recurve. And a lot of people say, well, how do you aim? Well, everybody's got their own technique. Some aim down the arrow shaft. I think that's the most popular of all. But some people make hand-eye coordination and shoot. 
when you when you point at somebody your hand is already in a 45 degree angle that's the way we recommend to hold the sling bow to hold it can it in a 45 degree angle like that right there it's just a total natural feel and then what I do to aim when I come to full draw I put that top of that fork on the target that I'm intending to hit and release but how you aim is all up to you you know how you learn to do it some people snap shoot and like I say hand eye coordination what I do is I grip the handle very tightly I come to full draw I anchor and I shoot that's the way I used to do with the compound except I didn't hold the handle tightly but with the sling bow hold it tightly and keep a high shoulder the reason for the stabilizer is I've taken this rubber stabilizer and heated a nail and made a little indention in the stabilizer so when I'm up the tree I can knock my arrow put it in the stabilizer use it as our holder as you can see it doesn't fall out the thing with the sling bow or any any archery weapon is to get close with the sling bow getting close is the challenge. It puts a lot of the hunting skills back into hunting because I try to limit my shots to 20 yards and under. And most instinctive shooters do 20 yards and under. You have some that's exceptionally good that can do more. But <clears throat> I'm not one of them. Uh, and like I said, these units, you can get them anywhere from from 27 pounds to 50 pounds, depending on your size and your strength and what you want to do with it. But with such a wide variety of power bands, this is good for the whole family. It brings hours of enjoyment. And like I said, it puts you up close and personal with the game that you're hunting, whether it be rabbits, squirrels, deer, turkeys, buffalo, fish, bear, whatever. Anyway, until next time, I hope this video helps a little bit on making your choice of what sling bow to get. If you have any questions, you can email me from the website. My telephone number's on there. You can call. We also take phone calls for special orders. But until next time, Introduce a child to the outdoors. Let them experience the gift that God gives us. And just enjoy. Get them out from in front of the computers and cell phones. And spend time with the family. Until next time, God bless. Shoot straight. Enjoy.